Ta-da! Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome to Butterfly Square Garden, a place where you can be free to be yourself. Every time I say that I notice there's too many bees, but maybe we like bees, because this is a pollinator channel. We deal with pollinators such as caterpillars, and you can see over here, we've got an eastern black swallowtail caterpillar munching on some carrot top greens. You can see there's uh, a carrot in a little cup and it's housing a caterpillar on it. It was a gift from a friend and yep, it's really exciting. So swallowtails, I've got a little reference over here. This is what swallowtail butterflies look like. We've got a male and a female. And last year, a male and female in the wild mated. They stuck their abdomens together and passed on their genes. And then the female fluttered along and boop, laid her eggs on my dill in the garden. And I didn't even see that happen, but I noticed one day that the, the flowers were disappearing because there, was a there were three little caterpillars munching away. Um, but then a storm was coming and I knew that it was going to be bye bye caterpillars unless we did something about it. So we went to the store and bought some dill from the herb section and we took those caterpillars and put them in a safe spot and continued to feed them until they were big enough to go into a chrysalis and then one day a couple weeks later they popped out and I thought it was the most amazing thing and that's how the whole journey started we learned how to feed butterflies we learned how to uh, do caterpillars and eventually a whole lot more so that's what we want to talk about today how do you take care of caterpillars how do you take care of butterflies maybe you found some in your garden maybe uh, I don't know someone else did for whatever reason, you've come across butterflies or caterpillars. Um, or maybe you just uh, think that it's a really fun hobby and you'd like to get started on your own. There's a couple important things. So the first thing is if you want to get involved with butterflies, there are a lot of ethics involved and there's a lot of discussion among everyone in the community and I personally am among the people who who think that if you want to get into butterflies you need to get into plants you know that's just how it starts so uh, work on your garden you can be if you're in an apartment you can do an indoor garden that's actually what the exciting parts are uh, the guy keeps going out of focus but um, there we go. That's all you need to do. I had to stop a video and start all over because I didn't figure out how to do that. Um, so yeah, if you want to start a butterfly garden and you don't know how, painted ladies are the easiest to take care of. And that's what I'll show you over here. Um, I've got painted ladies, which we will, uh, get in there in a second. And I have a feeder with them. I'll show you how we change that out. Uh, oh, that's nice. I guess we can kind of do that a little bit. If it doesn't keep freaking moving. Geez, cameras are hard work, man, everybody. I just ruined my whole setup. <laughs> so yeah, how do you take care of caterpillars? How do you take care of butterflies? Start out with an outdoor garden. If you're in an apartment, then you've got to do an indoor garden. And... Uh, if you can't, if, if in an emergency, know what plants to get from a grocery store. So I'm a big fan of carrots. I've gone through a whole lot of plants. Burdock I've been using for a long time for my painted ladies. I think it might even work for uh, f pretty much anyone um, in the butterfly. I mean, not anyone in the butterfly family, but uh, I think it might work for swallowtails. But I wanted to work with carrots because... You can just go to the grocery store and get a bag of carrots and snip the top off the greens, feed it to your caterpillars. It'll probably dry out by the end of the day, but stick it in a cup. Uh, I snapped off the end of that one, that one. Um, but I have more outside where it's like a deeper 
Uh, I put it in grow bags, but you can even use like a, you know, a grocery bag or whatever. And I use shredded cardboard. I lay the bottom with cardboard, and then I have potting soil mixed with cardboard. Uh, and then you can stick your carrots in there, and then you water it. And since it's such a big root that's already like a fully formed plant, I'm telling you, in a couple of days, you're going to see it's going to start growing um, big giant leaves. And that caterpillar is in its, I'm going to say fourth in star. So it's, it's going to get a little bit bigger and then it's going to turn into a chrysalis and be a butterfly. Because again, uh, that guy, that little caterpillar is pretty much the same size as, as these butterflies are. So I'm going to say in the next day or two, he's going to, um, transform and he's not even the biggest one. He's the only one who was, um, in the other cage looking for food. I've got, more caterpillars uh, in another mesh in the other room, but I just wanted to focus on one today. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Keep plants for caterpillars. And then how do you take care of butterflies? That one's a little more complicated. I don't see many videos of people taking care of butterflies online um i've made many variations of butterfly feeders and i'm going to show you guys the easiest one that i've ever found to have worked for me out of all of the inventions because uh, i'm a designer i'm an inventor and i'm a butterfly enthusiast and they all go together so let me get you guys in my butterfly enclosure right now butterflies are funny because um at least painted ladies they're not really territorial per se it's more like if they've got a home and they've got friends and they've got food uh i could leave the enclosure open and they like wouldn't fly out or if they flew out they would fly back in can I get you guys on a good view? That's pretty good. So what kind of feeder is this? It's literally just um, Chinese food containers and paper towels and Gatorade. So what kind of things do you need? You'd need a Chinese food container like this and like this and um, you take a hole puncher and you punch around and you get holes in it. And I've got some done already, but they've, they've, uh, they've got too many holes. And the one I've got in there has three holes. And um, that's what I use to make a paper towel flower wick that I poke through the holes. And um, that soaks up the Gatorade and the butterflies see a flower and they automatically know that that means food. So if you've ever wanted to take care of a, a butterfly, other people online will say things like, uh, you need to take a toothpick or a needle and you need to unwind their proboscis and then you need to put it on a sponge or in a, a, a cap of, of water or Gatorade. Nope. I mean, what are you going to do if you've got 10 butterflies? Are you going to just sit there all day long trying to do that? You're going to end up hurting them. So here's what we do. I took one sheet of, of paper towel and I cut it in half. So now I've got two squares. Uh, and I'm going to fold a, ha a square in half like this and snip it down the line. That's going to make a flower. And the flower is going to go through the cover like this. So I take my hole puncher and I punch, I'm going to punch three holes um, in the lid. So one pop, two pop, ha ha, once you pop, you just can't stop, three pop. So now I have three holes in my um, Chinese food container lid. I've done other things. I have an, I have an example over here. Um, it's the same kind of Chinese food container, 
with an origami with a wick. But um, I thought a really fancy flower would work super well. It doesn't. It doesn't work as well as what I'm going to show you right now. And it is so easy. So <laughs> I'm going to put that down just so it doesn't go anywhere. So easy. You take a square, fold it in half with the side that's folded, not the open side. You're going to take your scissors and you're just going to snip. Try to get them really small though. Snip, 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 snip. Go like past halfway. Snip, 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 snip. I was going to have some prepared already, but I just, I was so excited to do the video. Um, that I just started without. I prepared like everything else. It took forever just to get all the angles set up. So um, you take your little Hawaiian skirt and you're gonna roll it up like a little burrito. So I'm gonna fold it a couple of times like that. And then I'm gonna just roll it up like it's like a little um, joint. <laughs> If anyone knows what that is, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. Wow, this is turning into a pretty big flower. I didn't really, I'm gonna see maybe I can do it where I roll it the other way so you guys can see. Um, but then, check that out. You get a nice little uh, flower. You can twist it a little more um, so that it turns into like a little spike. And then you take that spike and you drive it into your little Chinese food container hole. You can fluff it up a little bit. And ta-da! It's that simple. So I can tell that they're hungry because they're walking around with their little proboscises out. So let's hurry it up. Let's do another one. For our second flower, you fold it in half and you snip, snip, snip all the way down. Let's do it together. Snip. Okay, now we're finished with our second one. I'm going to see. Maybe I can roll it up the other way. Does that even... No, I mean... My fingers are still covering it. But, like, do you understand what it means to roll something up? Because that's literally all you've got to do. So roll, roll, roll. Ta-da! The first time I did something like this, I asked someone what it looked like. Um, and I didn't get the answer that I thought, but in another way, I probably got a better answer than what I was expecting. <sighs> do, 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 do. They said it looked like a, a palm tree, but I mean, a tree has flowers, and it's supposed to be a flower. Boop, boo, do, do. So take another sheet of paper towel and cut it in half. You can always do it on a size that works for you, but this is just what I found works the best. So just the last time showing you snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. I'm probably going to make a whole bunch of videos where I do all different kinds. I always want to do like a really quick video and it always turns into like a big thing, but we're only 14 minutes in. My caterpillar is still happy on the carrot. We're going to end the video on my caterpillar eating the carrot, but um, that's really exciting because last year I was just feeding them dill from the grocery store and right now I'm feeding them carrot from the grocery store. But you can regrow carrots and you can't really regrow dill. So, doing my little burrito, sticking it in the hole. Ba da! And that's it. So, you don't, it's more than just feeding them because you have to keep the space clean. In nature, 
there are there are worms and decomposers that worry about cleaning up after them. But um yeah, things are different now. So all you do is you take the top and you open it up. Put it down. Don't mess up the flower that you did. And how am I going to do this? I have a little bit of water, so I'm going to fill a little bit of water. Pour, pour, pour. And then I'm going to add some plain old Gatorade Zero Sugar. What? I should have gotten the plain one. Um, of course, it's full of sugar, though. It's got sodium. That's the most important part. Um, males need the sodium to make the testosterone. But, ba -da -da, or the sperm or whatever. So I'm pouring in the Gatorade to about there. Don't overdo it because then when you stick the wicks in, it'll overflow. And I freaking hate when that happens. So put that down and la 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 I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. So you place the lid back on top very nicely and uh, that's it. It's already starting to soak up the Gatorade. You literally don't have to do anything else. So the paper towel will pull the Gatorade up through and then um, the butterflies, they walk around and they'll, they'll walk right up to it because they're hungry right now. And the food that they have right now is kind of yucky. It's been in there for weeks. Like, you know, you could, I have a water bottle and I'll still spritz them with water, but I literally don't have to do anything at all to take care of them. So like I said, it's important to keep your butterflies nice and clean. Um, so I'm going to show you how I clean them out. Let's put that there. Ba -ba -da -da. Say hi to the caterpillar. Or not. Hello, Mr. Caterpillar. Fine, whatever. That's not what we're doing anymore. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, what's important when cleaning out your butterflies? Don't squish any of them. That's important. Don't squish your butterflies. Um, how am I going to do this? Let's just take the whole thing out. I kind of poke them off. It's like, hey, everybody, why don't you go somewhere else? I'm going to pick up the whole thing. Oops. All right. Look at that. Wow. It's empty. This thing was full. And it just like, I mean, I'm sure most of it evaporated. Um, but like, wow. And it spills down the sides. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so cool. So this is how I clean out my butterfly enclosure. Um, this thing is still pretty clean because it was covered with paper towels. This thing, of course, is like really gross. And so I'm going to put them on the side for now. And I'm going to show you. OK, so the, the plan is to, you know, put that in here in there and then they'll be good. So what else do we want to do? These paper towels are also gross. So I'm going to take them out. Move, 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 everybody. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. Get off, get off. Butterflies love paper towels. They basically love anything that their little hook hands <laughs> gross can grab onto. Um, so like Velcro, yarn. Okay, so I made a little square. And I'm going to put this in... Go get out of the way, little baby. And now I'm going to grab another couple of squares. Do I even need to? I don't even need to. I think that's enough. I was going overboard last time just for the hell of it. Okay, but we still need this because um, we're going to do the rim. Oh, goodness. I have so much crap in the way. <laughs> 
And I want to get these in quick because they're already soaked with Gatorade and it's it's cute. So how did I do this? I kind of folded it in half. And then what else did I do? I was like in a rush. I'm always in a rush at this point. So um, I kind of tried to line it up. Ay, 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 ay. What am I going to do about this? I like kind of... You do like a little origami fold on the end. You just crimp it a little bit and then it, it makes it more rounded. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I literally just, I wanna get them to be able to climb up the paper towel. Oh goodness, I think I, I messed it up. No, it's coming out good. Okay, sorry everybody. It's just like, you know, we do our best. So with, with that said, well, let's just keep going. It's like you wanna just kind of fold it in a little bit like that. Let's see, how's it going? Okay. And now I just connect the end. Like so. And now it's a little crown. Just kidding. Um, it is, but it's not. So you just put that on top like there. And then you take this and put it in the enclosure with the butterflies. Uh-oh, you're squished. You can never live again. Just kidding. Get out. Like, for real, though. Um, occasionally, oops, I wasn't going to show you guys, but, um, you know, they do die. They are short-lived creatures, but um, these, these fellas have been living for, like, six, five, six weeks. You know, they live for two months, and in the wild, they only live for, like, a couple days. But my babies live for a long time. So let's take the new food and put it in the enclosure. Ba-ba-ba-ba. And that's how you clean out your butterfly tank. Um, so who's hungry? Who's hungry? It's like literally any of them. Okay, they're already starting to land on it. So I'm going to put this back over here and talk to you guys. Um, no, I mean, I want, I want to show you them feeding, but is there anything else I got to do? Uh, la, 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 la. I love this thing, but it's like totally tipping over. So just theoretically, if I were to put this hungry butterfly or any of them, uh, it's like you just need to make it available. So I want to show you guys the butterflies feeding. So are you hungry? I guess this is also how you guys would find out. Um, like if you're not sure about your butterfly and you want to feed it, it's kind of too late in the day. Oh, this one's totally hungry. All right, so I know because he's got his proboscis out. Can you see? So he's walking around with his proboscis out. So if I were to put him on the flower, get off my finger, you little fella. Okay, so. It's literally that easy. So you find a butterfly that's hungry, and you know they're hungry because um, they've got their proboscis out, and they'll be looking for food. And um, so you pick them up, you let them walk onto your finger. Chances are they're still going to have their proboscis out on your finger. They're going to still be looking for food. Uh, you put them you, you put them down on the flower, and their feet will taste the Gatorade and the sugars, and then their proboscis will naturally, like a little straw, they'll just start drinking up the food. 
and this guy was pretty hungry. There was food in there already, but, you know, sometimes they just need a little bit of help. Uh, so I picked him up and I put him on the flower, and it, it's going to take a few minutes. They literally, they take their time filling up. They're like little Corvettes, like, like little speed racer cars, um, high octane. So I'm not really timing this, and I've made many videos of what it looks like where a butterfly is feeding. Uh, but I just think it's like really cute and exciting. You know, sometimes they're not even hungry. They just want to hang out. Ooh, that one's hungry. Look, he's looking for it. Should I put him on or should I let him find it himself? Come on, little boo-boo. If I just tap his little booty, he'll walk right onto it. Go, go, go. Okay, so um, did you guys see that? I literally just tapped him from behind. And he walked on up, and now he's doing the same thing. He found it. He found the food. He's drinking the food. I just think that butterflies are the cutest thing in the whole world. Okay, hold on. Let's make it a little bit bigger because we're doing some National Geographic stuff going on over here. So, if a butterfly is thirsty, it will feed up. They don't know if they're ever going to find food again in their lives. Uh, <laughs> Little cutie baby. Yep, they'll, they'll furl and unfurl their proboscis, just like you're seeing here. Um, I think it's just something that they do. Like, you know, people crack their knuckles and they play with their hair. I think butterflies just like furl and unfurl their proboscis. They're so cute. So these are painted ladies. They're actually kind of small for butterflies. Oop, finishing up. Nope, he's still going. I just love butterflies. They're so cute. Um. La, la. La, 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 butterfly feeding on my feeder. Is anyone else hungry? It's like most of the time they will be eating like in the morning, not first thing in the morning because they're still kind of like, they don't sleep, but they have periods of non-activity and they don't really get active until the sun is like, up so I'm saying like nine eight nine o'clock if you try to feed them at five o'clock in the morning they're not really awake but also if you try to feed them too late in the day at like 10 o'clock at night that's when they're focused on mating so they don't really want it's just important to, uh, to have it available and and not just available like the food is there available like they need to be able to get to the food that you give them so that's why I, I make like a little ramp out of the paper towels and you know they're smart they're smart enough to know that butterflies I mean flowers mean food so just for the sake of like animal nature, like I don't think you can get any closer to what they would get um, in their real, in their natural environment. And that's really what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to replicate that as close as possible. So what else do butterflies need? Because this isn't enough in order to take care of butterflies. You need to do more. And by that, I mean they need a host plant because after they, th after they feed, they want to mate. And after they mate, they want to lay eggs. So that's why for, for the painted ladies, I've been using burdock. I could use carrot as well, but I'm using burdock because these leaves get so big that I could probably have like... 30 caterpillars on this leaf 
and that would feed them for a day. So I've got lots of burdock growing. There's lots of burdock in my park. That's where I found it the first time. So I'm putting in a leaf, and this is a flower tube, by the way, if anyone was wondering what it is in. Um, it's just a plain old flower tube with a, you know, look it up online. That way it's got enough water. I've seen people talk about, you know, wrapping it up in, in a wet paper towel so it'll stay alive. Too much work. Just get a flower tube. Here's another thing that works really well. Planting the actual host plant in a container. Just like this. That way, you can move the plant around and it's still alive. Does it get any easier than that? The, the butterflies will, will land on this and then they'll lay their eggs. So I already took out, maybe I should have left them in here, but um, my caterpillars are in the other room. So I, I took out the old host plants. I have one host plant and I do one leaf. And then I kind of put it up against the wall so that uh, the butterflies can just walk right onto it because they like to walk on the mesh net. Uh, is that a good enough view? Is that a good enough view? I'm trying, y'all. So yeah, this is literally what it takes. You need to have butterflies, you need the food. Um, these are all soaked, by the way. And it won't overflow, it will overflow a little bit because there's paper towels on the side of the rim. Um, which is good because the butterflies will drink any, you know, any paper towel that's wet. If you, if this is too much work and you need something in the moment, just lay out a couple of sheets of paper towel and get uh if you've got a syringe you can use a syringe and put it on the paper towel or if you don't even have a syringe you can use a pipette or a little dropper blip, 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 and drop it onto the paper towel and then um you take oh I, 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 uh, like a water bottle and you can just uh spritz them spritz 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 I'll do that because it's like a little shower and they're not they're not made out of paper. They can get wet and I think it's probably good for them to get, you know, little showers every once in a while. So, how often do I change out my butterfly feeders? I would say you could leave it alone for a long time. Um that one had actually gone completely empty, which I was not expecting. So that's a good thing, that it's actually getting used up. And if you leave it for too long... Ooh, this guy is literally trying to lay eggs. Oh my god, this is so funny. I think... What is he trying to do? Is he trying to lay eggs on my fake flower? Because that would be adorable. Um, I'm not worrying about that. I'm just talking to you guys. Butterflies are weird. You start to really um, learn the behavior. Do you guys like butterflies? Drop a comment below. Uh, it would be really fun to develop the community a little further so we all get to know each other and we all take care of butterflies more. Honestly, as much as I love painted ladies, my focus is now... Um, ooh, I'm getting this. It's not even a table. It's like a freaking cabinet. Ugh. Okay, so that was successful. We, we cleaned out the butterfly enclosure sanctuary. We gave them fresh food because, again, um, after a couple of weeks, it will ferment. And butterflies do surprisingly like fermented things. Like, if, in a, if you're in a complete pinch, just cut up a couple slices of apple, some banana, some orange, throw it in there. And they, they understand that that is food as well. The trouble with putting in bowls of water and stuff, you just they, you don't want them to drown. If things get sticky, then it starts pulling at their wings. So just do your best to keep everything fresh and clean and um, 
have a fan nearby so that there's air moving. That's another really important thing. And then the last thing that I want to add is have them buy a window where they get real, actual sunlight. And if you can't do that, put a light bulb next to them because I, I've, I've had lamps set up with a light bulb right next to it. And that works just as well. But they do like to warm up in the sun. They are cold-blooded creatures. So, yeah, that's just what happens. And what else do I want to say? Yeah, they like to soak up the sun. Um... These are my butterflies. I love them. In the other room, I've got a whole bunch of, of eggs because they lay eggs like every single day, all day long. Um, actually, more more to in the afternoon, but that's something that happens. So I've got tons of painted lady eggs. And again, um, I didn't have dill in my garden this year, but my friend has rue. Ooh, look, that one's trying to drink on the side, but I'm not going to. See, look, I'll show you guys again. This is like... You can see this butterfly over here is, is hungry. So I'm going to pick up. Oh, wow. The side is wet already. I don't think that's good. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. It just means that it's working. Um, yeah, that guy is drinking up on the side because it's it's leaking over, I guess. Oh, well. So um, I guess we can say goodbye to our little friend. I don't even know. What should we call our friend? Little caterpillar, I love my baby. He's like hiding. I can barely see him right now. Uh, let's take this off. Hello. If I go underneath, then the light's shining. So if I go above, you can't see because the leaves are in the way. But... Um, that's our swallowtail caterpillar. In the other room, I've got eight or nine more, but if I take the phone out of here and unplug it, then it won't, it won't, the camera won't work. And that's what happened in the last video. I was so pissed because it was a good video and I couldn't share it. So, you know, um, what I want to say, peace everybody and grow lots of host plants. Um, monarchs. I've got monarchs do, 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 flying around monarchs. They like milkweed. And if you've got a choice, plant native milkweed from your area. Otherwise, I highly recommend common milkweed because it's got the biggest leaves. It totally looks like this guy is trying to lay an egg. Is he doing it? Because that would be hilarious. Um, I don't think so. It looks like he is. It's a she. It really looks like she is. But, I mean, like, that would be ridiculous. Aren't butterflies so cute? No, that's totally egg-laying behavior. I would love to see that. Um, all right, it stopped. Whatever it was doing, it stopped. But uh, that would be hilarious if they start laying eggs on my fake flowers. They didn't last time. So um, I would hope that they don't start doing that. Like, lay eggs on my burdock, obviously. So, yeah. I guess maybe I'll make some videos um, of them with music or live stream or something. But no offense, they're just painted ladies. You can get them online. Um... I don't recommend, it, that's really, it's egg-laying behavior. I don't recommend really ordering butterflies. I think if you can just do it um, outside on your own in the butterfly garden, or I mean, if your friend is doing it, that's how I got the swallowtails. I had a friend, but she is uh, a really good gardener, and she's a really good caretaker of caterpillars. So maybe I'll mention her in my video again. 
Okay, so I don't know. That's really it. I don't know what else to say. I made a video of how to take care of caterpillars, and we also showed you how to take care of the butterflies, clean out the enclosure, food, water, sun, air, plants. Take care, everybody. I always mean to do a really short video, but they always turn into this really long thing because we just have so much fun. So, yeah, if you learned something today, that's awesome. I have all of these things on the side that we didn't even get to. There's so many tools that you can use to make li your lives with butterflies easier. If you're struggling with picking them up and moving them around, put on a glove and they'll just stick to your finger like Velcro. So it's really funny. There's tons of really easy tips and tricks that we can use to help each other out. And I know that it's kind of like a figure it out as you go kind of thing. So there's so many people doing so many different things. So I would appreciate it if you guys share as much as possible. You know, every time you learn something new, anytime something works better than it did before, like let the community know so that we can all work together to make more butterflies in the world that's what this is all about so don't forget to like and subscribe give me a follow a uh, thumbs up i mostly like the comments the best i want to know more about you guys and get to know each other so yep can't wait to show you guys. I'll let you know when the caterpillar is in chrysalis form. And, like, yeah, that's just a couple days away. You want to say goodbye? Bye, butterflies. I'm really glad that you're enjoying your feeder because I don't have to do anything. I could just leave them alone, and they'll be totally fine from now on. But, like I said, I'll get the water bottle, and I'll spray them about once or twice a day. Cool outro. I don't know what cool outro. Cool outro. I'm going to post this on all the communities. Hope the video worked. Okay, bye. Love you.